Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, yesterday I went to Ulta after work and got into some trouble, I think, but I'm not sure. So um, I picked up a lot of fun things, so I'm gonna show you those first and then we'll hop into an everyday makeup look. That's gonna be a really simple matte eye and a glittery look. So um, let's get started. Okay, so the first two things that I picked up are the Urban Decay Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray and Hydro Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. I haven't tried these before, so I just got the um, travel sample size um, to see how I like them and see how they worked. Um, I'm really excited to try them. I've heard great things, so we'll see. Also picked up the Too Faced Primed Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. And I've heard good things about this as well, so I decided to pick it up. Um, and I'm hoping that it's pretty similar to the um, Benefit Professional. I also picked up an IT Cosmetics brush um, in the number 101. It's just a nice little foundation brush um, to go with the CC cream that I got. Uh, this is the IT Cosmetics CC cream. It has SPF 50, which I'm really excited for because I love putting SPF on my face so that I don't get fine lines or wrinkles. Um, but this is a color correcting full coverage cream. It's anti-aging and it's a hydrating serum. And this is the color medium tan. So I am really excited to try this. I've heard great things about it. I then also picked up the Too Faced to Born This Way Loose Translucent Powder. I also picked up the Bye Bye Pores Bronzer by It Cosmetics. Um, I haven't really heard much about this. I just saw it. I was looking for a new bronzer. And then a couple of fun things that I picked up. This is the NYX hashtag This Is Everything Lip Oil. It's supposed to just give your lips that shiny gloss look. And then I also picked up the Shimmer Down Lip Veil by NYX. It looks like this, maybe. It's a nice pink shimmer, and this is the color Plumin. Um, I'm really excited to try that out for you guys today. That's the, the lip color that I'm going to be using. And then I also picked up this fun NYX Cosmic Gel Liner in um, the color Supernatural. So it's just a cool blue uh, gel eyeliner. I got it for 10 bucks. Actually, it was even less than that. But it was on clearance. Ooh. It was on clearance, and I thought it would be fun to have on hand so I can do some fun looks with it. All right, so now that you guys saw what I got from Ulta, let's hop into an easy makeup look. I'm first going to tie my hair back. I'm first gonna go in with that Urban Decay Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Ooh, this has coconut water in it. I love using coconut water. Anything coconut is right up my alley. Mmm. Smells really good. Let that dry, and then I'm going to go in with my um, primed... There is barely anything in this thing. This is how much product you actually get. So that's a little bit of a buzzkill. I don't know how I feel about that Too Faced. It's kind of deceiving. Take about that much and put that on my face. Really focusing more on my T-zone because that's where I get the oiliest. Is a poor minimizing uh, primer too, so that's that's nice. It smells nice. 
Next, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light Medium Honey. I just want to hide the dark circles that I have and any redness. Blending that out with a little fluffy brush from my brush line. And I love this for concealer. I also love it for the setting powder to go on top of the concealer. It's a great brush. I love them. As you can see, that canceled out all of the darkness under my eyes and any redness that I have around my nose and my chin there. That looks great. That is my favorite concealer. I've tried quite a few concealers and this one is my go-to. I'm then gonna go in with the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in the color Medium Tan and take my IT Cosmetics brush in number 101. So that's one pump. We'll see how one pump does for us. All right, it cosmetics. I see you. I see you. Wow, this is beautiful. You. It has a really nice scent to it too it's not like chemically smelling it smells really good actually something that i don't mind putting on my face wow you guys one pump actually covered my whole face that is amazing And the color matches. This is a beautiful product, actually. I really, really, really like this. Wow. I am very impressed. Look at that finish, you guys. It still has like a bit of a dewy finish, which is, you know, okay if you want it. I'm more of a matte gal, but I feel like this is a really good, like, everyday summer kind of thing. Mmm. Smells like like lemony, like a citrusy kind of smell. Lime, maybe? I don't know. It's a wonderful smell, whatever it is. All right, so I'm super, super impressed with that It Cosmetic CC Cream. Um, there is a couple of other colors. I saw that they just came out with um, an oil-free one, and then they also have the hydrating or illuminating one, too. So they have a few different ones, um, and it's in like a nice pump bottle, which I'm sure it just uses pressure inside to pump it out. And I feel like that really helps get all of the product out of the bottle once it's finished or once it's heading towards the end. Um, I don't know. I really, really liked that. And that coverage is just perfect. Hmm. Super impressed. Next, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way um, setting powder in the translucent color. I did see, which I was very impressed that they have now, is that they have a medium cover or color and a dark color as well. Because, you know, everybody has different skin tones. First, going to go in with that same brush that I used for the concealer, which is a brush from my own line. So I'm just going to put some in the cover there and put that on my under eye. Hmm. That's nice.
There's a fly in here. It's making me mad. I feel like I was born this way. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Bye Bye Pores Bronzer by It Cosmetics. I'm going back in with that Real Techniques powder brush. I'm gonna bronze up those cheeks. All right. Hmm. Okay. That was a pleasant surprise. Mmm. Gosh, it smells like summer. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is a beautiful bronzer. Wow. I'm impressed. Little on my nose because I love a sun kissed nose. I'm bring it down on my neck a little. Wow. That is a beautiful bronzer. I'm then going to go in with my Becca highlighter and blush combo, dab into that blush, and put that on my cheeks. Using that same Real Techniques powder brush. This is a brush that I use for literally everything. Huh. I'm really liking how this look is turning out today. Next, we're gonna go in and do eyebrows. I don't like doing those on camera, so I will be right back. All right, brows are done. I'm gonna go in with my Naked 3 palette and throw on some eyeshadow. Like I said, I'm gonna do a really simple matte eye um, because we're gonna do a little bit of more of a bolder lip. I'm gonna go in with the color Limit. <laughs> Limit right there and use that as an all over transition color. I'm next gonna go in with the color Nooner, right there, and do that just in the outer corners. I feel like I need one more color. My husband's trying to make an appearance. Maybe I will do a little shimmer on the eye. I'm going to go in with my flat brush, or my brush line, I should say. I keep saying makeup line. It's not makeup, it's brushes. Go in with Buzz and pat that all over the lid. Just for a little shimmer. Shimmer. Because glitter is life. Shimmer is life. Anything that reflects light is life. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and dip into Nooner and blend out those lines. All right, there is the eyes. Next, I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Liner, and I'm gonna do this off camera. So now that the liquid liner is on, I'm gonna go on, or go in and tight line with my L'Oreal Matte Medic, which is also the Infallible line, but this is the um, mechanical eyeliner. and let my eyes water because that's what they do when I do this. And then I'm going to take my flat eyeliner brush through my brush line and dip into that Nooner and blend out um, that bottom lash line. Nothing too dramatic today. All right. And then I'm gonna go back in with my taper blending Go into limit again and blend out any harsh underlines. Okay, so now that I'm done with eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with some highlighter. Go in with this fluffy brush from my brush line, maybe. See that nice fluff? And I'm gonna go back in with my Becca highlighter and blush combo and highlight those cheeks. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I highlight the tip of my nose and just in the middle down on the bridge. And then I also take a little and highlight that Cupid's bow on my upper lip there. Look at that. Mmm. Mm-mm. Love me some highlighter. Make me glow. Look at that glow. Ugh. It was so beautiful. And that bronzer, you guys, that was a good investment. That was a really good investment. Okay, next I'm going to go in with mascara and Smashbox Full Exposure. And I am going to voluminize these lashes.
Now that that is completed, I'm going to go in with my Sonia Cash Hook. <laughs> you guys look how small this thing is. But I've had this for a while. I love this color. So I'm going to line my lips with that. This is the color Plum. Prune, I think. I need to sharpen this. I'm going to go in with this, the MAC in the color Capricious. Oh yeah. Okay. I haven't used this color yet, but that is a beautiful, beautiful color. It's a little bit darker than I was not maybe anticipating. I think I knew it was going to go on dark, but I guess just a little darker than I was thinking for this look. But that's okay because we're going to put on this NYX Shimmer Down Lip Shimmer. I'm super excited to try this. Here it goes. Oh. Yes. Oh, you guys, this. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it's very like silky on the lips. It's not, it's not sticky at all, but look at these lips. Like, are we for real right now? All right, so next, after I've applied everything, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Setting Spray. Shake that up. Can never have too much setting spray, right? Mmm. It smells like bamboo or something. All right, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun trying out these new products. Um, I'm really excited to have these as a part of my collection and I look forward to using them and showing you guys how they work even more. If you liked videos like this, give me a thumbs up so that I know to do more. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification so you get notices when I post a new video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.